If you've ever wondered how stock exchanges work, why companies list their shares on exchanges, or how you can start investing, well, today we're going to break it all down for you. In this video, we learn four things. What is a stock exchange? How does a stock exchange work? What are the major stock exchanges in India? And order placement on stock exchanges. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics. Imagine a busy bazaar like the ones we visited with our parents as kids. There are sellers shouting out prices, customers bargaining, and everyone trying to make the best deal. A stock exchange works in a similar way, except instead of vegetables, it's shares and financial instruments being traded. And thanks to digitization, there's no shouting. Everything is done online. In simple words, a stock exchange is a platform where buyers and sellers of shares and other financial instruments come together to trade. It's the place where companies list their shares so that people like you and me can buy a piece of them. So how exactly does a stock exchange work? It's actually pretty straightforward. When you want to buy or sell a stock, you place an order through your broker's online platform. The stock exchange, which is completely computerized, looks for a matching order at the price you've set. Once a match is found, boom, the trade is executed. And how are prices determined? Stock prices on an exchange don't stay the same. They're constantly changing throughout the day. So why does this happen? It all comes down to supply and demand. Here's how it works. If more people want to buy a stock than sell it, the price goes up. That's usually because investors are optimistic about the company. Maybe they think it's going to grow, make more money, or pay higher dividends in the future. On the flip side, if more people want to sell a stock than buy it, the price goes down. This might happen if the company is struggling, there's bad news about it, or there's uncertainty in the market. For example, let's say a tech company announces an exciting new product. Investors might see this as a sign of future success and start buying the stock, which drives up the price. But if the same company later reports disappointing profits or faces legal trouble, investors might rush to sell, causing the price to drop. It's really that simple. Stock prices rise and fall based on what buyers and sellers think a company is worth at any given moment. Now let's talk about the major stock exchanges in India. We have two primary ones. Bombay Stock Exchange (BSE), established way back in 1875 on the Lal Street in Mumbai, the BSE is the oldest stock exchange in Asia. It has over 5000 companies listed and a massive market capitalization of around 460 lakh crore rupees. The BSE's benchmark index is called Sensex, which tracks the top 30 companies listed on the exchange. National Stock Exchange or NSE. NSE was founded in 1992 and has over 2000 companies listed. Its market capitalization is about 455.88 lakh crore rupees. NSE's benchmark index is Nifty 50, which tracks the top 50 companies. These are the go-to stock exchanges in India where most of the trading happens. Apart from these, we also have the following type of stock exchanges. Indian International Exchange (INX), Multi Commodity Exchange (MCX), National Commodity and Derivatives Exchange (NCDEX). National Stock Exchange International Financial Service Center NSE IFSC Calcutta Stock Exchange CSE Metropolitan Stock Exchange MSE The entire trading process is computerized and for most of us buying or selling shares requires just a few clicks However a lot happens between you clicking that buy or sell button and the shares being added or debited from your portfolio or funds being added to or deducted from your account So let's take a look at everything that happens when you place an order through a broker on the stock exchange. Using the trading platform provided by your broker such as Zerodha Skyte app or web, you can search for a security you want to buy or choose a security from your portfolio that you want to sell. After finding the security, you place a buy or sell order. Once the order is placed on the broker's platform, it's received by a stock exchange and looks for your buy or sell order's counterpart. This process is called order matching where the exchange matches the best buy order with the best sell order. This matching is computerized and happens almost instantaneously. Now if you choose to execute the order at the current market price, this is called a market order and your order will be executed immediately at the prevailing market value. 
However, if you specify a particular price at which you want to buy or sell a security, this is called a limit order and the order will be executed only when the security reaches that specified price. When an order is executed, funds are deducted from your account. So make sure your trading account has sufficient balance when placing an order. Once the order is executed, settlement takes place. Settlement means the transfer of ownership of a security. BSC and NSC follow a mandatory T plus 1 settlement cycle. This means that settlement takes place one day after the execution of an order. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about stock exchanges. From what they are, how they work, the major exchanges in India and the process of order placement on stock exchanges, you're now equipped with the basics to jump into the exciting world of stock markets. Now, stock exchanges are just one of the many components of the financial markets in India. To learn about the other aspects and the financial markets as a whole, check out the Introduction to Stock Markets module on Varsity by Zaroda. The link is in the description. Also, remember that while investing in stocks can be rewarding, always make sure to do your research and understand the risks before making any decisions. You can easily open a trading and DMAT account with Zeroda entirely online if your phone number is linked with Ada. Just click the link in the description and follow the simple on-screen instructions. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Brokerage will not exceed SEBI prescribed limits. Thank you.